What's up, people? Jay Coss. All right, so we're gonna do the quick macro counting video. So, here we go. Let's get into it. We're gonna use this mass gainer as an example today. So, macros. Macro is protein and a carb. Hey, protein, carb, and fats. I was in a rush to get the video out before I opened the store and I had a line. So, um, protein, carbs, and fats. <laughs> So, make sure you're counting the fats also. The same way that I'm about to explain how you count the carbs and protein, that's how you count your fats. You know, you get 20 grams or 30 grams of fat a day. You count them out each meal to make sure you hit that limit in that day. Okay, cue video. It's also, I guess, considered an alcohol, but don't worry about that. Let's not get confused, okay? Protein and a carb. Macronutrients. It's just, we're gonna keep it real basic, all right? So, let's say you got a coach. He gives you a macro breakdown. He says, I want you to have 200 grams of protein and 300 grams of carbs in one day, right? You're bulking. So, boom. You look at this and you see, now let's get close. Total carbohydrate, 79 and uh, 75. And then it says amount per scoop. So. You know that if you do one scoop of this, that that is 75 grams of carbs. Boom. So towards your whole daily intake of 300 grams of carbs, you just have 75. So now for the rest of the day, you have 225 more grams to hit. Doesn't matter how many meals you eat, doesn't matter when you eat them, doesn't matter how big the portion sizes are, you just need to get 300 grams of protein in the entire day. After you do this, you got 225 more grams of protein. I mean, uh, carbs, sorry. So now, when you look at the protein, this says for one scoop, you're looking at 40 grams of protein for one scoop. So, count the macros, you write down, okay, I did one scoop of this, so that's 40 grams of protein. So now, on your daily limit, you're at 40. You have to hit, you have to hit 200. So, that's literally counting your macros. Like it's very simple. I've made the video like very basic, so there's absolutely no confusion. I have some clients that didn't know or, or you know, maybe didn't know where to go to find it, so I just make it really simple. So 300 grams of carbs, 200 grams of protein, that's what you look at. You make sure you look at the serving size, and then you look at the carbs and you look at the protein. Okay? You're not going to worry about the calories that I give you or that you would get from your coach or anything along those lines because the calorie limit is going to be based on what you take in. So he should have already calculated how many calories you're going to have at the end of the day based on those macros. So he should have already told you total calories, this is how much you're probably going to get in during the day. So you don't have to really overthink it. You literally just say, okay, boom, he put on there, I need to get 200 grams of protein and 300 grams of carbs uh, and just eat. In most cases, it's more optimal if you have like medium-sized meals, so like four medium-sized meals or something like that. Even three is fine, but you don't want to have two big-ass meals because chances are you're not going to absorb all of that food, all of that nutrients, all of that protein in two huge servings, you know? So you really do want to try to space it out at least into three meals, um, but yeah, and you definitely count your protein shakes unless your coach or whoever tells you otherwise count protein, count whatever you're taking in, count dressing, count soda. A lot of people forget drinks, whatever drinks you're taking in. All of that counts. So you have a little micro, macro calculator on your phone or an app or something along those lines. Use that to your benefit. Type in everything. You have to manage it, okay? Um, in cases when you're bulking, like for me for instance, if you go over on your carb intake, it's not really that serious. Unless you're really trying not to get fat, then you probably want to stick to whatever it is. But, you know, if you go over a little bit, it's usually not that crucial. Even if you go under a little bit, you know, it's, it's never really like, you gotta do this, 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 unless you're about to compete. If you're about to compete, then you need to be on point and have your damn scale ready to go. But if you're just eating to be healthy and to be fit and, you know, to look good and perform well in the gym, then you don't have to really be exact on point with every little thing, bam, 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 you know? So, relax, it's all good. You don't have to carry this big ass scale around. Um, just, uh, you know, ballpark it, make sure you are tracking at least, you need to have at least an idea, and, um, that's really it, honestly, so don't overcomplicate it, it's very simple, like, I made the video basic as hell on purpose, so, 
you know, if you have questions, drop them. If they're more in depth, drop the questions. I'll definitely answer in the comments, but you know, very simple guys. So that's it. I'll be posting Eat to Grow tomorrow. Uh, I'm excited. I, I hope you guys enjoy it. Eat to Grow is basically a full day of eating, day in the life, uh, with the workout, everything. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Check out the Instagram. It's growing fast. Uh, if you guys have any questions, drop them below. Keep sharing the channel. Let's keep growing. It's growing pretty fast. And thank you guys. I love you. Peace.